This is 55 TV and we are with Ian Eames at his exhibition at Conk. Um, it's great to see you again. And you. What brought you to the point to want to put an exhibition on with a, such a varied amount of your work? Well, I was invited to exhibit at Conk. Um, Ray Davis uh, wanted to, you know, use this space in an interesting way. It's the second exhibition here at Conk Studios. And uh, it was a chance for me to show a different side of my work. Work that other people have never seen before. Work that's been stored in my attic and uh, hidden away from the world. Um, how was it reviving and going through this old body of work? I mean, the stuff that we've got here, especially what really interests me is um, from you know your youth and the mental asylum work. It's so far removed from yeah. from film and you know the right. arts. Well, the stuff I. Let's be clear, I wasn't in the mental asylum. I was working at the mental asylum, doing sketches, you know, secret sketches of the inmates. And um, I was a student working there. Um, but kind of, that was like the 60s, you know, when uh, actually mental hospitals were more hardcore. So what you were seeing was, you know, pretty scary stuff. Um, but I didn't know I was going to be a filmmaker at the time. You know, that was before my filmmaking career happened. And um, in a way, what's really curious is their, their observational sketches about people. And in a sense, I've, I've been doing the same thing since, you know, um, using more, more advanced technologies. Do you think those sketches really were informative of, of the rest of your career? Do you think you always had an element of, of your work within that very start of your um, creative process? Yes. You call them, um, what you call them, I don't know, character sketches. And much of my work is uh, dealing with uh, spatial experiences, sort of... Uh, music and uh, abstract things but this is about people and that's a big part of my work too but it hasn't always surfaced but combining my love of people with the kind of more artistic the more abstract side um, so it, it has been that's a founding stone found, founding stone of probably the way I think without me realizing it at the time I must say, they're beautiful portraits, and you really capture the character. Um, and just the, the fine detail of your pen stroke is absolutely beautiful. So congratulations on the work you did, like, you know, over 40 years ago. Um, more up to date with your storyboard, because I think storyboards are really underestimated for the creative ability. Um, talk to me about storyboard for yourself, because it has to be something that you really love to be able to yeah. produce a good storyboard, I suppose. Storyboards started for me uh, when I was listening to Pink Floyd music actually because I started drawing the images in sequence and no one's taught me to storyboard so I kind of got my own technique but it's an absolutely intrinsic part of the way I work because I'm a film director uh, I always you know when I see a sequence I always imagine it in advance put it down on paper frame by frame usually it's very quick to begin with and then it becomes more and more elaborate it's commonly thought that storyboards can restrict the creativity or the spontaneity, but it's not true because a storyboard becomes like a Bible from which you can begin the process and then be set free. It's, it's just, you know, but you learn so much about what you're doing through storyboarding because it makes you commit your ideas to paper there and then. And so you, you thought out all the difficult stuff in advance and when you have that, you can then just run with it once you actually start directing. Um, you've seen a whole evolution in digital and everything, especially being a director in film. How has this process changed from you? What do you reflect on your very early stages of your career and your creative process? I would say nothing has changed for me personally. In the 60s, I was doing light shows, liquid light shows. I was using kinetic art I was kind of using front line technology and I'm st now I'm doing the same thing again I'm working with CGI I'm you know I'm everything's via internet I'm working with animators in Russia and you know uh, 
I'm, I'm using all the latest technologies, but I still go back to drawing, to the, the, the tactile, hands, pencil, paper, thought process on paper. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a very, very simple process, and it informs all the high-tech stuff. So nothing has changed in terms of my actual creative process. And actually, although technology, people think it's progressing, conceptually, one wonders if it is progressing. It's more an illusion of progression through technology. You've got to actually push ideas forward, not just the actual it's kind of complex surface of things. This show's on at the moment. It must have been great fun to put it together. Slightly stressful as well, I can imagine. Um, what else have you got coming up, or do you feel like you'd like to work on? Well, I'm developing a film, and it's going to happen in the next year, but it's going to take me a good part of this year to get it moving. Um, so that's been ingesting a long time, and it's, it's now that, that creation is, is being born. So that's a fairly major uh, undertaking. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'm going to wait and see how this turns out, whether I continue to exhibit or not because I've got the art world calling and the film world calling and I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to straddle the two. Um, you've been in the industry for a long time. You're obviously passionate about what you do. Um, is there a time that you think, oh, you know, I, I don't want to do this anymore? Or is it something that's many ingrained? Times, many <laughs> times. Just read, you know, how it's like, ah, oh, I can't be bothered with this. Why am I doing it? But the truth of it is I actually can't do anything else. I, I am I'm that person. I... I, you know, I could go off and, you know, buy property for a living, but this is who I am, this is what I do, and it's a bit too late to change it now. Sure. Ian, it's great to see you again. I love the show. We'll catch up with you. Good luck with the film, and we'd really like to speak to you about the film when it starts in development. This is 55 TV.